Uh, my name is Dr. Trudy Ufundu of Snowspirations, and today it's another wonderful day. Today, very quickly, we're going to talk about sex lubricants. So, you see, in this era of infertility, in this era when so many couples are going through infertility, um, because of the anxiety and stress and the burden of making babies, so many couples are not able to engage a normal process of painless sex, especially the female counterparts. So because of the anxiety, because of the constant thinking of making babies, most couples have resorted to only making love just to make babies. Remember that love making is for two purposes, procreation and pleasure. But over time, when infertility deals a blow to couples, making love becomes a chore. Making love becomes very laborious. So they put in more efforts. They go through a lot of torture because they are not settled. When this happens, love making becomes painful. Love making becomes no fun. Love making becomes monotonous and more like you know something you have to do to get something not like something that comes spontaneously so this is where lubricants come in so lubricants are jelly substances either a woman or a man can put in the genitalia in course of love making to help expedite wetness to make sure that the woman is not dry naturally if a woman is engaging in lovemaking, there are flukes that are created in the vagina area. Naturally, there are hormones that prime the vagina to be ready to receive the penis. But when you have stress, when you have anxiety, that pleasure, that fun part is replaced with a lot of dryness, a lot of low interest, low libido. When that happens, it's important to use lubricants to enhance the pleasure so that you don't feel pain because if a woman is feeling pain during lovemaking the probability she's going to be bruised is there if she's bruising she's likely creating an avenue for infections and she's also going to be in pain lovemaking should not be painful lovemaking is not created it's not designed to be painful it's designed to create togetherness to create intim intimacy. So here's the deal. When you are looking for a baby, there are specific lubricants you should use. You don't use the ordinary lubricants out there. There are certified, verified, fertility-friendly lubricants you should use. So when you go out there to buy your lubricants to enhance your sexual intercourse, please be on lookout for only fertility-friendly lubricants. There are some lubricants that contain what we call spermicides. Spermicides are chemicals that kill the sperm cells. So when you don't use fertility, fertility friendly lubricants, if you use lubricants that contain spermicides, it will kill the sperm. The sperm will not be able to pass through the vagina, pass through the cervix, get into the womb, get to the ampulla to fertilize the egg. When this happens, it will further cause strain on an already bad situation. So it's more like you're creating more problems because couples that are having problems having babies, especially if it's more than one year, they have a lot of tension in the relationship. Sexual intercourse is an area that infertility attacks. When infertility hits couples, it affects their sexual intercourse. So please, when you go out there, look for specified lubricants, written, fertility, friendly, and non-spermicidal. Very important. Matter of fact, if you're in the US, look for FDA-approved fertility lubricants. There are few of them out there. 
this is a factor you have to deal with because when you don't deal with it, it's going to cause more problems. And when it, it causes those problems, it will further delay the time you can use to achieve pregnancy. So this is something you have to make conscious effort. So when you go out there to buy your lubricants, there are so many varieties out there. Make sure you take time to read the label, read the contents. Make sure it doesn't have low pH. Any lubricant that has low pH will also affect the pH of the cervix, the pH of the vagina, and the pH of your womb. And when your pH value is low, it means it's acidic. And when it's acidic, it means it's hostile. The sperm cell is very sensitive. So you want to create the same environment that it's likely in the same pattern with the natural fluids. So you want to go for lubricants that have similar pH with the vaginal fluid, similar pH with the cervical fluid, and similar pH with the womb fluid. When you do this, the sperm can be helped to get to the spot where it will have a chance to impregnate the woman. Knowing fully well that most couples are having problems might already be having low sperm count might already be having sperm with low motility. So you do not want to use the lubricants to cause further damages. So you have to spend time. You have to research. When you get to the pharmacy, if you're not sure, ask the pharmacist. Make sure you use it carefully, naturally. If a man is vast in helping the woman, you might not even have a need to use lubricants in the first place because there is a natural lubricant made by God you can use. But when it, it fails, which is possible because life is stressful, infertility is a bully. When it fails and you plan to use lubricants, when you step out there, please make sure you're using the right type of lubricants. Lubricants that will give you an opportunity to impregnate your woman very important so read the labels make sure it's not the common lubricants out there please don't use your home oil don't use your vaseline jelly don't use your ky jelly they are not in the same category of fertility friendly lubricants they will rather form a block so when the sperm is navigating through something like KY jelly, it will be difficult for the sperm to get to the spot where it will have a chance to impregnate the woman. This is a topic of great importance. Doing this alone can actually improve your ability to impregnate your woman. So it's a factor you have to take very serious. It's a factor you have to consider adopting that habit. And over time, try and work on each other so you will completely avoid using lubricant in the first place if a man engages in adequate foreplay if a man understands the chemistry between him and the wife or the partner it's likely the fluid of the woman will be activated so there might be, not be any need to use any lubricants so be mindful when you step out there and make sure you're using the right type of lubricants Please share this video with your partner, subscribe to this video, like this video, and share with anybody that this video will help. Make sure you tune to Snowspirations Global Health Solutions on a regular basis. Thank you for coming today, and I hope to see you again. Until I see you, bye-bye and God bless.